you're one of the nicest dudes <laughs> I probably have ever met. You gotta, you gotta be nasty in the trenches. Absolutely. So, but what, what was, I guess in some cases, I mean, I watch sports. I, I come from a sports family. Like I get it. I analyze, but I think for a lineman, that is, you're doing a lot of dirty work constantly. It's nasty in there. Yeah. How do you flip the switch then from being, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's not saying your personality no, defines no, you no. the sport, I know, but I know what you're saying, I mean, it's, you gotta be a little bit nuts. I mean, I always say playing off its line is not for everybody. You gotta be a little bit off just a little bit. Cause you get no glory. You gotta just like enjoy going out there and hit people. That's gotta be fun. And, you know, it was just always fun to go out there and dominate people. I mean, I'm a, I'm a nice guy, but I enjoyed to be able to just dominate another person. And that, and that was fun. I wasn't like in a mean spirited way. It was just fun. I would like laugh at people sometimes. <laughs> with pancakes. So you're, you're pancaking and you're laughing at them? Like, LT, son, y'all got to do better than this. I mean, you know, so I mean, there's always those moments. And, and, and the switch was more like, I knew what I had to do to do my job the best of my ability. Yeah. Nothing personal. This is not a personal thing. I'm just going to kick your ass and I'll help you up and we'll just keep on going. Yeah, but, in the, just... but, but in the moment, your ass is mine. I oh, got yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you, you're going down and then nothing you can do about it. And I'm just as I want to destroy you, but I'll help you up afterwards. Yeah. Well, so what for a lineman then, you know, for your case, what was something besides that you could just manhandle people? But what was something specifically then was your strength? Like what made you I mean, so, I mean, is that something you were cerebrally thinking about or you would you know tendencies of players or what was, what was it that made you, it really, well, how would you grade yourself? It really helps to be six, nine, 340, 30 pounds. What I was at the time. That doesn't hurt. Run and living up. I had a lot of God-given talent. I would 100% admit that, but I also understood that and didn't want to waste that talent. So I also put in all the work that was required in the film room, in the weight room, in the training room, you know, didn't always love it. You know, some people would say you just didn't give everything all the time. I was like, I gave what I had to give to be what the player I wanted to be, which was one of the best all time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was always about trying to maximize, you know, and trying to just go out there and just give, you know, be what I could be. You know, yeah. but so then with with film, were you just watching guys' moves, their tendencies of who you're going up against? Well, it, was it, it being technical about just like your fundamental? It, it was all of that. It was all of that. It was about learning what I was doing right and wrong. It's making sure that I understood the offense inside and out. You know, not, not only my job, but the guard's job, the center's job, the tight end's job. You know, not just my guy, the whole front seven. I mean, yeah. be able, aware of all that stuff, all those mental aspects. You know, if you know what you're doing. And you can react that much faster. Mm -hmm. You can cut a guy off instead of being behind him. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that, just knowing my job, you know, being that guy. I mean, Jeff Mitchell was one of ours, our center once, and he said the only dude who will ever, like, if he make a call, the only time when another lineman, I was the only lineman who can call him off. And, like, he'd be like, if J.O. said something, I might have made the wrong call. And he's other slappy say something, <laughs> whatever, yeah, whatever. He ain't worried about it. It's like, yeah, whatever. As long as J.O. don't say nothing, he's like, okay, we're good. <laughs> so he knew that. I mean, that's how I was with the game. All right, so, again, you have the physical talent, but you put the work oh, in. Yeah, no, but I, you understood I, what you were doing. That was yeah, the point I was I mean, and, 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 that's, and that's it. I mean, I think, like, the Hall of Fame players, there are a lot of guys with, well, I'm not going to say a lot of guys with Hall of Fame talent, but there are guys with Hall of Fame talent that didn't work it's hard in the weight room, in the film room, and they're we're just good pros, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But the guys who make it all the way, me, your dad, super talented, yeah. but also didn't waste it, went out there and worked every day to try to cultivate it, try to become the best, didn't want to, just weren't happy just yeah. being a professional player, wanted to be the best.